Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, five-sided uh, irregular polygon A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram. And this uh, five-sided polygon is also called an irregular pentagon. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, A, B is five units. This segment uh, A, E is seven units. And the segment uh, C, D is three units. And finally, the segment uh, D, E is being represented by X. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, B, A, E is 120 degrees. And likewise, this angle uh, A, E, D is 120 degrees uh, as well. And these are uh, our 90 degree angles. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. In other words, we are going to find the value of this uh, side length uh, DE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And uh, here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, angle ABC. This is our right angle which is 90 degrees and furthermore we know this angle is 120 degrees and this angle is 120 degrees as well so therefore we are going to think outside the box to make our job simple as you can see in this next step we have constructed this right triangle p b t such that this right triangle superimposes this uh, given uh, polygon a b c d e and now let's focus on this uh, triangle p a e and now let's recall the straight angle property in other words uh, this whole angle is going to be 180 degrees and we know this angle is 120 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be a 60 degree angle and likewise uh, let's focus on this side this whole angle is our straight angle which is 180 degrees uh, as well and this uh, angle is uh, 120 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, angle has got to be 60 degrees angle as well and now we know that some of all these uh, three interior angles of this triangle uh, PAE is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude uh, that this angle has got to be 60 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, PAE is an equilateral uh, triangle since all these uh, angles are 60 degrees each. And since this is an equilateral triangle, so that means uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be congruent uh, as well. They are equally length. And we know this uh, side uh, AE length uh, is uh, 7. So this side uh, PE length is going to be 7. And likewise, uh, AP length is going to be 7 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big right triangle PBT. Now let's make an observation. This angle is uh, 60 degrees. This angle is uh, 90 degree angle. And we know the sum of all three interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be our 30 degree angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle PBT is our uh, 30, 60, 90 special triangle. Since this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, 30 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, TCD. We know this angle is uh, 90 degrees, this angle is uh, 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be a 60 degrees uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny right triangle uh, TCD is uh, also a 30, 60, 90 special triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side PB length is going to be 
7 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 12 units. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. And now let's focus on this uh, special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle uh, ABC. And now let's make an observation. We can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle, whereas uh, this uh, angle is 90 degrees and this is our largest angle. So therefore, uh, the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest leg. And likewise, uh, the side opposite to this uh, largest uh, angle is going to be our longest leg. And that is also called the hypotenuse. So in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is always twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is one, then the longest leg has got to be two. And this uh, third leg is going to be square root of three. In general, if I label this uh, smallest uh, leg as uh, lowercase a, then this uh, longest leg has got to be two times uh, a, and this third leg is going to be a times square root of uh, three. And now we are going to apply this rule on this given problem. Let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, TCD. This side is uh, our uh, smallest side, whereas uh, this side is our uh, longest uh, side. So therefore, in such uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is going to be a twice of that one. If this is three, then this uh, TD length uh, has got to be six units. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, PBT. We can see this uh, side PB is our smallest leg, whereas uh, this whole side uh, PT is our uh, longest leg. And we know that the longest leg is twice the smallest leg. If this is 12, then this uh, PT length has got to be 24 units. So therefore, let's uh, focus once again on this uh, hypotenuse uh, PT. Its length is uh, 24. So therefore, I can write uh, our PT segment length uh, is uh, 24. And furthermore, we can see that this whole uh, PT length uh, is going to be the sum of these uh, segments uh, 7 x uh, and 6 uh, as well. So therefore, once again, I can write uh, PT segment length is going to be the sum of these individual lengths, uh, 7 plus uh, x uh, plus uh, 6. Let's simplify. We can write uh, our PT length has got to be 6 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 13 plus uh, x. And now we can see our PT length is 24 and furthermore PT is 13 plus X as well. So therefore we can equate this 13 plus X equals to 24 as well. So therefore I could write 13 plus X is going to be equal to 24. And now I am going to isolate X by subtracting 13 from both uh, sides and here we can see this 13 and negative 13 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 11 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 11 uh, units in other words our this uh, x value is going to be 11 uh, units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.